Merci, bonjour. Euh, merci également d'avoir participé à, à ces questions euh, que vous avez été nombreux et nombreux à nous envoyer. Euh, moi, je m'appelle Joey, mais je vais euh, trans, euh, traduire pardon, euh, les réponses euh, du casting et du réalisateur qui vont nous rejoindre pour euh, cette conférence de presse de Challengers. Je vous prie donc euh, de réserver un accueil chaleureux. Tout d'abord au réalisateur, Lucas euh, Guadagnino. Bonjour. Welcome. Just right here, please. Bonjour. Thank you for being with us. Euh, on accueille également Josh O'Connor. Zendaya. Et Mike Feist. Thank you very much for being with us today. Thank Merci you. beaucoup d'être avec vous, avec nous aujourd'hui. I'm going to translate the questions. Uh, all these journalists sent us some questions that I'm going to ask you and then try to translate your answers to them. Shall we start? Let's do it. Okay, <laughs> great. Let's do it. Uh, Luca, my first question is for you. À quel point avez-vous poussé votre réalisation et la cinématographie du film sur ce sur Challengers? When I got in the script and I realized that how great Justin Kuritskas was in creating this great parallel between the attention between the characters in and off the court and using tennis as a metaphor for it, I felt that we had to really bring ourselves into the game. Oui, donc, and euh, so the game was the most important thing, the game of life, the game of, of, of competition and challenge and, and, and seduction and eventually I would say friendship. Mm. Um, and, and so like tennis, when you see tennis, either you go to the to see it in live or you watch it in TV, it's a very objective kind of experience. And I thought about it making it very subjective. Okay. So for me, it was like uh, an immediate thought to be able to be inside of it. But also being inside the game means to be inside the game with them, with these yeah. characters. Of course. So I think the performance also drove a lot of what the camera does as well. Okay. Et en fait, c'est dès la lecture du scénario et euh, en constatant les interconnexions entre euh, le jeu, euh, le jeu du tennis et euh, le jeu dans la vie entre les personnages, euh, il est devenu assez rapidement évident euh, qu'il allait falloir se servir de ces interconnexions euh, et également que euh, la manière dont euh, les personnages euh, évoluaient au cœur du récit à orienter d'une certaine manière la réalisation. Et puis il y a aussi euh, l'aspect du tennis filmé, euh, qu'on aille voir un match de tennis ou qu'on le regarde à la télévision euh, en tant que spectateur. On a toujours une vue très, euh, très objective euh, de, de ce sport. Et là, l'idée, c'était euh, véritablement de rentrer sur le terrain euh, et de faire vivre ce sport d'une manière totalement différente pour qu'elle ressemble, qu'elle s'accorde avec euh, ce qui se passe entre les personnages également en dehors du, en dehors du terrain de tennis. Thank you very much. Um, Zendaya, I have a question for you. Et comment s'est passé le, le travail en, en, en trio euh, et comment est-ce que ce travail a servi l'authenticité de ce, de ce triangle amoureux au centre de ce film uh, Yeah, <laughs> our, our love triangle. Um, I would say, um, I think What was really special is we got to, I, I call it, you know, like summer camp, but it was, it was waking up, we worked side by side doing our tennis, you know, and we were all in it together, and there was a real support system there. Then we had to work out together, which is a real support system there. And then we rehearsed together, and we had got to share space together and, um, and talk about, you know, these characters and have, you know, um, debates about, you know, their personal feelings and what we feel and, and um, our own kind of um, on takes on everything and just being able to have that time to dig into this and feel supported and feel like you're, you're in it together and also they're, they're wonderful people, they're great guys, you know, so it, it just made it feel very safe and easy. Um, so when the cameras were rolling, I felt like I was, I was with friends or with people that, you know, um, I knew that we were already locked in, you know, um, and understood each other. And, and, we, and, we, and ultimately, you know, you're able to play and have fun and, and know that your, your, your scene partner, like, has your back in, in, in a way, you know. So it, it, felt, it felt great. I felt, I, you know, I felt safe. And that's what you have to have in order to play such messy characters, you know, that between cut we can just, you know... Really? laugh and have a good time, okay. you know, while these characters might be going at it, we're, we're all enjoying ourselves, you know. 
All right, I understand. Thank you. Uh, donc, euh, c'était un petit peu comme une sorte de summer camp, donc une, une colonie de vacances. Ils, se, ils ont énormément travaillé ensemble tous les trois avant euh, le film. Ils se sont entraînés ensemble tous les jours. Ils se réveillaient à la même heure tous les jours. Ils passaient énormément de temps ensemble. Euh, et donc, ils ont appris à être assez synchrones, finalement, et à se connaître très bien les uns et les autres avant le tournage, ce qui fait que quand la caméra tournait, euh, il y avait cette complicité, cette... Euh, qui servait l'authenticité des personnages et il euh, y a un mot que Zenaya a répété plusieurs fois, c'est le mot safe, donc l'impression effectivement pour jouer des scènes et des personnages aussi intenses, d'être dans un espace euh, bienveillant euh, qui fait que entre les prises après avoir tourné des scènes très compliquées où les gens euh, prennent des décisions complètement euh, irrationnelles parfois, euh, bah, ils pouvaient rigoler, s'amuser et euh, ça, ça a vraiment participé à, à, à la réussite et à la, au tournage euh, à la, bonne, à la bonne tenue du tournage, voilà, pardon. OK. Um, my next question is for, uh, is for Josh. Pouvez-vous nous parler de votre personnage et de la, la, la trajectoire émotionnelle que, en tant qu'acteur, vous avez vécue sur ce film um, For all of us, we are playing characters that are um, removed from ourselves, which is always <laughs> exciting and challenging. And um, I think... I, I remember when I first started... When we first started rehearsing, as Z talked about, we, you know, we had this w real privilege to have a period of time where we could yeah. throw things out there and discuss what we imagined yeah. for these characters. And um, I think one of the biggest sort of changes or adaptations I had to make, uh, I remember having a conversation with Luca about his audacity, his... Um, the nature of Patrick is that he's outlandish and doesn't give a shit. Um, and those were things that I really, you know, got really excited about and tried to find a way of understanding. We all had to do this to, to a certain extent, understanding what it is that's pulling them through. Yep. And of course, there's the, there's the relationships with each other and they all, they're all obsessed yep. with each other. Um, but they're also obsessed with tennis and what the link between the two is, and why, um, you know, at the end of the film, why, why are they triggering, why are they kind of needling each other all the way through the film? And so for me, it was that the, the drive was about um, a lost passion, that you have three characters at the beginning of the film when they're younger who have pure love and lust and passion for each other and a sport, and they somehow lose that for each other and for the sport. Yeah. And so the whole film is at varying points, for me, is about, is about all of them trying to find a way back to what they had. Yeah. Of course. OK. Uh, la première réponse, c'était que c'était toujours excitant d'interpréter des personnages qui ne nous ressemblent pas du tout, uh, dont on se sent complètement extérieur. Et uh, pour appuyer les propos de Zendaya, uh, Josh disait qu'effectivement, cette, cette période uh, qui a vraiment été un privilège de pouvoir travailler, répéter ensemble, uh, travailler le texte du film en amont du tournage, uh, leur a permis véritablement de chercher ce qui motivait ces personnages, ce qui les faisait avancer dans la vie. Uh, on est uh, parti très vite sur le thème de la passion, effectivement. Dans ce film, chaque personnage a au départ du, du long métrage, quand ils sont jeunes, une passion pour le sport, pour le tennis. Ils se découvrent une passion aussi les uns pour les autres. Tout ça est évidemment interconnecté. Et à un moment, cette passion s'émousse, se, se, ils la perdent. Et, et l'un des, des axes principaux pour le travail d'acteur, en tout cas, sur, sur ce personnage, pour Josh, ça a été qu'est-ce qui qu qu le fait avancer pour essayer de retrouver cette passion, pour essayer de, 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 de réinitier une sorte de flamme euh, qui avait été perdue. Euh, le truc, c'est que c'est un personnage qui est extrêmement, euh, qui est très extravagant, qui en a un peu rien à faire des conséquences de ses actes et qui va tout droit. Comment retrouver euh, cette, cette, euh, cette manière d'avancer, de faire vivre son personnage à travers euh, le scénario C'était euh, l'axe principal et ce qui l'a le plus motivé sur ce, sur ce travail d'acteur. Thank you very much. Um, I have a question for you, Mike. Thank you very much for being with us today. Uh, I've never seen a movie about sports that feels so human and relatable, and you, you can feel the emotional journey of the, of the characters. Was this balance, this interconnection between tennis and human psychology um, something that you could use as well for your performance, for your character? Uh, I think I, that's a hard question. Uh, look, I think at the end of the 
Justin Kuritsky's wrote a great script. Yeah. Uh, and at the end of the day, that's what we are all going off of. And yeah. so that's your foundation. That's your Bible. And then it's really just our three jobs, more or less to, you know, be in the service of telling that story and then trusting that hands into Luca in order to like shape that. Right. Yeah. So I, th I think that was the pool was the story, what you're saying, the draw, the, the, the wanting to do um, this piece in particular, yeah. um, in order to actually try to manipulate that on my end. Um, it's just about showing up and just being present mm. and staying open and listening and responding and then trusting, of course, Luca to you know make it work in the edit and doing his job and then relying on Justin and his beautiful work that he had already done for us. So that's it. That's the answer, of course. Uh, C'était une réponse très plus pragmatique, effectivement. Uh, le, la, la base du film, I wanted to talk about the script as well. Uh, that's what we're going to do. But la, la base, effectivement, de ce travail, c'est ce script, ce scénario, uh, qui a été écrit par, uh, par Justin Curtis, uh, et, qui, uh, et qui est déjà, uh, à la, en fait, à la base de tout. Uh, et et l'idée, c'était simplement ensuite de, de rester ouvert, d'échanger, de dialoguer, d'écouter, de, de répondre uh, un travail d'acteur et d'actrice en fait, tout simplement. Et, euh, et c'est vrai que le, le, ce qui, les motivations des personnages étaient le premier attrait pour euh, vouloir se les, les incarner et, et faire vivre ce script en faisant confiance également euh, à la manière dont le réalisateur allait mettre tout ça à l'écran euh, et, et s'occuper de, de, de la réalisation. Mais, euh, mais effectivement, j'ai l'impression qu'il y a l'accent qui a été mis sur, sur ce scénario qui est vraiment à la base de tout. Um, how, did you, how did you come across the script and, and um, what, what initially drove you to make this movie when you read it for the first time? Uh, I've, been, I've been given the script by the wonderful Amy Pascal, who produced this movie, alongside me, Rachel, and uh, Zendaya, Rachel O'Connor. Um, the script was brilliant, and a good script is a script that promises a lot and doesn't maintain all the promises within itself. Because when you read it, you know that there is potential there. And better than that is when you then meet a very bright, intelligent writer. In Justin, we, we, we met that. I mean, he's such a wonderful writer. He also wrote my new movie, Queer, um, that he wrote one while we were shooting uh, Challengers. He was writing the next movie when you were shooting yeah, Challengers? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, the, uh, with Justin, we really cl clicked very much. Okay. I told him that there was something in the script I read, that, sh that you read, that was kind of like left off the door that needed to be brought into the, the room. Okay. And, uh, and I told him that there was a sort of like, kind of like, uh, um, I think in, a, in every triangle mm -hmm. and in every um, relationship where there is jealousy at stake, the triangle has to touch all the corners and the jealousy has to be directed in every direction, not one. So the thing that for me was important is that you don't do a story about two men going after the same woman to conquer her. What was about a three people that chemically meet and they cannot be separated anymore. And when they are separated, the friction and the action that has su this follow suit needs to be brought back to that meeting. So it's got back and forth. So we worked on fleshing out that thing and then to try to, to bring more behavior Uh, than words in what was the, de the description of, of these people. And so the, the, the journey to do that with Justin was fantastic because he came to me in Italy like a week after I read the script and I met you the day after that meeting with him in London. And then we never parted ways, still today. Euh, et donc ce qui était très intéressant effectivement à la découverte de ce script c'était euh, les promesses euh, à la première lecture, la première version c'était le, toutes les promesses qui étaient faites par cette histoire et par ce script et comment est-ce que ces promesses euh, on allait pouvoir les intensifier et euh, faire des réglages. Il y a une, un vrai binôme qui s'est créé puisque euh, depuis euh, en fait euh, Lucas et Justin ne se sont pas quittés, ils continuent à travailler ensemble. Uh, well, thank you very much uh, to the four of you for thank being with you. us today. Uh, congratulations on this movie. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, and uh, and well, good luck for the rest of the of the promo. Thanks. Thank you very thank much. You so much. Merci beaucoup. Merci à toutes et à thank tous. Thank you for your time. Bye bye.